you can yeah okay some note there can you you hear me and see the video yes okay continue okay those two parts um like that and uh, put them together um it's like the uh cursive so become very this become uh uh like that right oh can you see my screen okay and then this this part become you know very faster and uh, you know look looks very artistic style so this part like that and then continue with the that you know something like that but i said i explained it's like that you do not have to you know mimic if if it's not your um chi flow <laughs> energy flow not yet um see so look uh, things uh i just uh, wrote uh, demoed this one is because I look at the sample and I didn't you know it's not become mine yet and while talking it looks correct but it's kind of ugly so you can write this way this way and uh, you know anything you, you you understand and you feel comfortable to write you know You know, this is a, a, anyway, a, a, I mean, any kind of the style you feel comfortable. People and the mountain. Um, you know, even uh, not for the uh, people like uh, the immortal. Um, even uh, we 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 call you know some people. Uh, um very um uh, like beautiful beautiful people or dressed very beautiful or um and that life uh you know uh very uh dramatic uh like the dream ideal we also say wow beautiful life very immortal <laughs> like people uh People like only thinking, thinking of things ideally or in mountain. We also say say that uh, doesn't have to exactly um, the immortal. Okay, um, and uh, this uh, uh, clerical style, uh, I will say, become really uh, dignified, right? And uh, the main part, uh, the stroke. Uh, um, like the carving mood, right? And also the main part is the mountain part become more like a mountain center, even like like the people, right? Okay. Press instead of the lifting, right? And connect the uh, vertical, but not that long. Um, in this style, um, every um, character has become flat, right? And thus become like a separate just the bottom. Remember the horizontal a little bit like a wave. This also one of the uh, characters for um, this style, clerical style. Because like a carving thing, right? Okay, so that's how much we learned the immortal. Um, um, and the um, Korean, um, Korean, Korean, Korean. <laughs> okay, um, the right part of this um korean korean um is the characters for bird we learned the bird okay so bring it a little bit easier but still lots of lots of strokes okay so standard i still it's uh 
this leaf and put two papers together. I think. Okay. Standard first, left part, almost the same size, right? It's like the roof thing, press and the lift, and the big slant. But some people do um, in another style, we will do dot and the slant, but some people do two ways. Yeah, some people do just the single slant and the vertical. Dot four horizontal one two three and then vertical and then seal the bottom bird part we learned already slant and the, like the box things Press and the stress out for the hook. Four dots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, make the four dots a little bit like the with some connection, right? Okay, that's the um, standard style. And then walking style, of course, just put you know put the uh, basically put the things together. Um, and uh, this part, this part, a little bit of change, uh, change the um, order. See from dot, one, two, three, four, and the bottom, right? And it become walking style or even um, the running style sometimes or some things in between, very common to uh, do that just a lot, you know, directly vertical instead of a dot and vertical, but do the first horizontal, like decided the position first, like the, that first, and then one, two, three. That's common to do. And the bird part become really. Um, easy, I mean, faster doing, just do the dot. Okay, this part, right. Okay, very obvious, um, the four dots become just the one slant, one horizontal. Um, and later in the grass style, even become just one dot, right? Uh, very connected. And then the upper part, upper part become just a, a dot and then the box connect, right? The box part and something like the vertical just inside and then put a, put a slant connect and then the hunchback for bird back, you know, something like that. Okay, so put them together, the walking style, and the, this is very connected, right? Okay. And then even can connect the two parts, right? Okay, so this is the vertical, I mean, the walking class, the walking style, yeah, walking. Um, and the grass style, cursive style changed a lot. Bird part we learned, we explained an um, upper part and the lower part. Yeah, um, there, are, there are some things just changed um, and with some um, roles, with some role, uh, rule, um, and uh, doesn't really very logical from the 
uh, strokes order, um, I mean, you can tell easily, uh, not really. Okay, left part, um, you write like that. This part, right? This part, this part, just simply write like that. Okay, even the starting part, not that showy. And then a little bit of change, right? The slant, not that long and become, um, you know, like that. Yeah, horizontal and the back, a little bit of circle and the down shows the vertical and the center, whatever, how many, like circle it, circle it, even doesn't show the circle in the sample. Mm -hmm. And then lifting. Okay, left part, I mean, right part, like the number three things for the upper part and a little bit hunchback things in the back to, with the dot things. Yeah, that's how much for the uh, cursive side. Um, yeah, some people, uh, you feel comfortable to write I mean, whatever you want. Uh -huh. And the this one, uh, curry mood one, clerical one, is very um, looks very same from the standard one, right? But um, as I explained, um, not the whole uh, slant is dot, you know like the roof radical. This is the roof radi uh, radical, did we learn before? Yes, like for the family, right? That's the one, roof radical. And then bottom one. Dot. The dot, the slant is very short in this style, right? Remember the horizontal one, a little bit waved. <laughs> and the kind of the goose tail flying things on this stroke. And the waved of horizontal again. Four dots. Okay. And uh, um, any questions um, you have for those two uh, characters? So you can write uh, for this bird, you can write single characters on Korean, Korean, or um, put them together for this one, this style one. I um, give you the pictures I put in the classroom. You see that? Okay, um, for this kind of, we always say together for um, immortal, <laughs> immortal, um, uh, uh, Korean, immortal Korean. Um, people doesn't really, people only think the kind of, of the Korean. People never think anything to do uh, with the, uh, like the, the meaning of immortal, immortal. People just call this, uh, this kind of the Korean, an uh, immortal Korean. Uh, and uh, um, the Chinese painter and also the Jap Japanese, uh, Jap oh, I got lost some pictures as actually from the, uh, the artist that, uh, uh, calligrapher uh, taken uh, Japanese calligrapher. Uh, I mean Japanese the um, photographer uh, to took the picture of a Korean. The Korean um, the play uh, plays this kind of uh, uh, 
uh, immortal Korean with the red crown, red crown is um, in the northeast, um, northeast China, um, and like China, a uh, lot northeast China and the Japan, the area, you know, next to, mm -hmm. um, see, that's why lots of pictures in snow, in snow. And uh, I choose this is um, because traditionally in Chinese painting and uh, um, I believe some Japanese painting um, do the Korean, always this kind, this kind. And it's very easy to um, fit in the Chinese painting style because uh, only black and white and a little bit, a little bit of spot of the red on the top. So I choose the, I choose this. Also, um, some um, symbolics, um, um, you know, the, 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 the meaning on this Korean, people think it's Im immortal, immortal. Um, um, what's his name? Lin Pu, Lin, Lin Pu, uh, in the Song Dynasty, which is um, um, uh, um, 10, 10 to 13 uh, century uh, in China, um, that one um, poeter, uh, literary poeter, um, he said, um, Song Dynasty, Song Dynasty. Um, he said uh, he didn't get married and uh, he um, uh, loved Korean, Korean, Korean and uh, uh, plum tree. So um, he's uh, in his poetry, in his poetry, um, he wrote, he wrote, he said, um, consider um, plum as wife um, and uh, Korean as son. Uh, so he loves those two those two things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so Mei Chi uh, He Zi. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, um, so we are uh, uh, learning the style uh, for this um, Korean. Um, uh, and well, um, I know lots of uh, Koreans uh, later you want to uh, paint in, uh, on the card or we learn the bird things. Uh, like same way, same way to do um, uh, as we learn this kind of the Korean. Um, and, uh, um, you know, we can do uh, different colors or different, you know, a little bit, a little bit different. Um, with lots of the small one, I give you just to show you the gestures of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, thank uh, thank you, uh, Kathy. Thanks uh, thanks for your picture uh, for the um, Korean, Korean. And uh, but this time we we want to do this um, black and white black and white one. Yeah, um, yeah, Kathy, your picture um, the Korean the gesture I like it um, very beautiful. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, those those are common in Michigan here oh. in the United States. So oh, okay. That's a, that's a sandhill crane. I see. I see. I see. Uh huh. Okay. So I I show I show the pictures um, in the um uh classroom our classroom um. I hope you watch you 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 see you see the picture. I want to see uh I want to tell you um you know some artists even from from you know from the single. Um, painting cannot really understand you. We want to understand, you know, uh, which part is which part, right? Um, do you see the black part? The black part in the classroom. Um, the I showed the picture. The um, when when the um, Korean stand um, like the handout, like the handout we we, uh, we uh, look at uh, right now. Um, the black part on the tail actually is not tail. You understand? It's from the wing, from the wing. And uh, when the wing totally spread, totally spread, you know, the, the black part is not the tip part. Did you see that? Let's see the picture. Uh, it's like the, um, how to say, <laughs> people always say the Chinese, Chinese people explain uh, anything, uh, try to uh, put the, uh, put, find the place on, on their own. Okay, uh, the, the black part is like the middle, middle part and the, the, um, of the wing. And the tip, tip part 
is the uh, big and hard, big and hard feather, and is white. And when it's close, when it stands there, uh, um, the white part kind of hide or cannot really see, you know, at the at the two sides, and it shows um, black part like the um, it's like the tail tail part there. Anyway, we do something very, um, if we do the standing um, part first, uh, much easier. Okay, so we understand. And the neck, did you see? Um, on the back of uh, her or his head is white, is white. And then the neck um, is uh, black, you know, um, and uh, actually, it's pos position a little bit like the arrow, arrow, th arrow, arrow things. Um, and on the top of the head, um, there is the red spot. Um, for the, um, okay, we cannot really, we need to learn some rules uh, to, um, you know, to, you know, from picture and become very xie yi, meaning right style of the Chinese painting, right? We just joke, we do, um, you know, simply, and uh, we do not do, you know, uh, like the wash everything. We do some certain strokes, right? Okay. So that's um, practice and explains some things. Mm -hmm. uh, later, we will. I think that this is uh, um, this is Korean, and uh, um, we can do. We have lots of uh, things to do. Korean with pine uh, tree. Um, by the way, <laughs> the Korean um, is at the um, swamp swamp place um, and the Chinese people um, painter put the uh, pine tree and the, the um, uh, Korean together. <laughs> okay, uh, those two are, um, both of them have the long lived. And by the way, did you know the Korean uh, with long lived uh, lifespan very, very long, you know? For uh, I don't know how 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 did you know uh, the Korean this country? But the, this this Korean um, lived like hundreds hundred years, like the pine tree. Yeah, like a pine tree. That's why I also call it immortal. So this this bird also um, um, the symbolic symbolic is the um, um, you know auspicious auspicious bird auspicious bird and uh, um, immortal immortal and very uh, lucky, long, long lived. Chinese people put the two uh, long lived things together. Um, actually, uh, the most things we can do is um, on the ground um, of the pine tree area, <laughs> but never put this bird on, on the branch of the uh, pine tree. He never gets on the uh, stand on the pine tree, okay? Um, he uh, lives at the, uh, the um, swamp play area. Okay, for the eye, actually, for the eye, very important, right? I, we try to, um, uh, the, the, to the pupil, uh, looks like the dot, but we do not do very stiff dot. You know, we do not circle as the dead things like that. We try to leave uh, the pupil part. We try to leave a, lit, leave a little bit of highlight things, but how to do that? Do two dots, you know, like the, um, not that big, huh? but I have to demo uh, for, you know, for two, like the horse horseshoes things, but, uh, you know, not close it. We do two dots. Can you see? Yeah, two, you know, two half round things and leave a little bit of space in center and with unclo unclosed like that, instead of a very solid dot, okay. Of course, when you do the real, real painting, do very small. It's a small brush to do. And then 
a circle outside and the circle you do not very solid, do a little bit lost and found, lost and found. This kind of for I. Understand what I'm talking about? Okay. And then the B, beak, we talk about this, um, this beak is very long. Okay, solid, um, solid strokes and uh, uh, straight your brush. Um, why I bring uh, some things to a calligraphy stroke is um, there is a lot painting of uh, lots of strokes, um, calligraphy strokes, right? Okay, this is the, the upper, upper beak. Okay, and the, then other strokes for that, right? And the, the nose or some uh, some things not very close to the head part, a little bit here. Okay, and the lower part, lower um lower on the beak, lower part of the beak. Uh, the sample one um is the open mouth, and uh, um but the um, if you would do close, just add one. It's a smaller one. The opened one, yeah, shorter. Normally do shorter and a little bit smaller one. Do that. And the tongue a little, a little bit. You could do single line and later put the red one for the second line, you can do that. Okay. And uh, that's the, the big part, right? And the hat and the, the um, that's the stroke we need to practice and anything else we can do later, right? Okay. Um, and the, um, then you, the, you light ink to form, last and found to, for, to form the head part, right? And put some things. Okay, the other strokes uh, very important we need to form is the uh, tail um, feather, tail feather, actually the wing feather, I mean the black one. Um, side brush, side brush, press, and then at the very, very tip, um, lift. Like we do on um, goldfish, remember? Yeah, because, um, you know, uh, big uh, feather and in wind, in, you know, in wind, all, all, almost, uh, yeah, look at the, the picture, you, you, have, you got this the, uh, image. The wind make it, you know, a kind of a wave. wave. So press and lift. Something like that. Also, other strokes very important is for the the leg. I mean, leg or it, it, it's actually not leg, not leg. You understand the black part is like uh, um, you know. Uh, look at the picture. The big leg, I mean the thigh, <laughs> the the thigh part is really doesn't show that much for the Korean kind of the hide, we do a little bit, right? And outline for, uh, for, for that, a uh, little bit for that. And the drumstick part, uh, a, a little bit, understand? Understand? Okay. And the main part we try to do um, is the leg part. I mean, the leg, how do you call that? I don't know the meaning for this bird. It's not... Mm. I don't, I don't know, but the black part, oh, that, that's just called, um, just called in the painting, we call it lag, lag okay. Uh, like a two parts and the upper part is really small, I mean, really short. And uh, then big strokes, um, long stroke for the uh, bottom part. So, but this stroke is like, kind of like we do bamboo, we do bamboo stock. First is uh, do that press, 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 and stop, press. And then you, okay, 
from uh, lifting to press here, pause, pause, and then start another stroke um, with the pause, press first, pause, 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 and then directly go, straighten your brush. Understand these two strokes, two press here, two press at the junction part. Yeah. Press, like a, make the, like a bamboo section things, press. And then start with the press again, and then go. Certain. And um, for the plow, or what do you call foot? Um, actually, this painting um, a little bit harder to do, and the, normally people do just the very powerful, um, like a three strokes for um, the foot, the 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 plow, like the one, two, three, and the, the a little the small small one is more up actually okay so one two three or you know with some ang angle things and then put a little bit a little bit actually nail <clears throat> nail things like like we do on the crab crab i hope you can see that okay i will do you know some things very small. That's it. Okay. And then we know the two um, four birds, basically two, um, two eggs, right? Two eggs. But this case, the two X is really, <laughs> it's really far from, right? So it's, it's one X is here, but still two X, remember always in your uh, mind image, right? And the two here, one is here, say, uh, even far from uh -huh. other here. And uh, we talk about X is a shape, big, you know, short, shoulder part shoulder part in your, in, your, in your mind. And this is a tail part, tail part, right? Tail part. And there is um, in between two eggs, there is the long, big neck. Think about like the pipe, pipe things, you know, things. And the strong, save the space, save the space uh, for the leg, right? Beak. So the shape is a little bit, you know, different of, uh, from the regular birds. Especially the, the the neck part. Neck part is really long, right? And here is the uh, uh, the crown. Okay. So um, let's do, we all do more um, um, like flying one or some things. Um, I, I like this bird a lot and uh, um, it's very big. You can uh, do uh, beautifully on the uh, calligraphy style uh, uh, and the Xiehi meaning right style. Let's do the standing part, um, uh, still part. This is even the open, open beak. Not very still, but uh, look at the pic um, picture. Um, um, I mean, the last picture I gave you, and he's walking or stand there. Uh, uh, very, very elegant and <laughs> shows kind of the arrogant there. It's very interesting, this bird. Uh, and the last of and the Kathy's picture and I, I, it, it, the, the gesture, even um, it is like flamingo, even it stands, stand there uh sometimes it's lots of times on one leg you know other leg is like that that so very beautiful very beautiful i mean the gesture for uh for painting right 
Okay, so um, for uh, today's painting, let me see. I normally do um, I first. Save the place. Um, look at look, look at the uh, one um, the. Okay, the lag, save the lag, save the lag part, even like the one third, right? I think it's a longer, big, long, longer, higher than the one fourth. Okay, and the, the I should be somewhere really high because um, um, upper part is just the big beak, right? Okay, so um, but. You can use a small small brush or very be careful for the larger larger brush for the eye. I think like two dots. Okay, save a little bit. Uh, I know you know highlight in the center. And sometimes it's smeared and it closed, but the shape is still too. Um, I mean, two dots, I mean, two strokes, right? A little bit lost and found, lost and found for the uh, circle, right? That's its eye. And then the beaks, almost, almost, you know, the position, almost a straight, almost a straight. Shorter for the lower one, a little bit shorter. Okay. And some black, some black first on the head, right? Later put the put the, the red one and some black on the cheek. And I just do the neck, you know, with this stroke. Um, I'm not suggest to do the, like one stroke for the neck, cause it's a furry thing, you know, on the, on the bird. So um, if you do one stroke, it's too smooth. The neck actually is like the, look at the picture. It's like a little, the black part is like that, that uh, arrow things. Yeah, eventually actually open, opened a little bit. Anyway, okay, then I think, um, I asked you to do like a, a, a few pic, uh, a few brushes. I need to change it to the light because only black and the white, right? Uh, this time we do uh, in the picture, I think uh, he used a little bit of blue. So I need to do other brush for the light ink. I didn't um, use same brush, it's hard to control. Light brush, but need to be not very smeared, huh? Do some kind of a <clears throat> sketch things for continue to do the body part for the, the back, right? And the other wings this way, yeah, look at the sample this way. And the, the body part, we talk about the egg shape, right? <clears throat> things and the, the wing, this part, um, and uh, the body part for the thigh or belly, belly part to this. And here we saw some, we do some like a hook thing for the um, tail. 
or the white part of the uh, the wing. We do some you know hookish things you can do, but not uh, sometimes a one stroke, right? Not very stiff. Very shaky part. Yeah. And here is some, you know. Just a couple of them. And some you can do a light, the dark things shows uh, lost and found for the um the shape, the the shape of the uh the the wing, the body part. Okay, um, that's about it. And uh, I will add, add on later. And then I do the tail part. Press and lift. You know, wind made some things. You do not do each thing's very um, same, right? Keep the shape of the, you know, think about that's the, the one wing that and the one wing here. Some small um, tail, um, Tail feather. Okay, um, I can add things later, you know, some dark here or Okay, and then lag apart, right? Light ink, and uh, you do some things uh, like the thigh with some anger, right? The position. And uh, some people even do not do that because that part is a very really sh short, short part and do not want emphasis on that. and do this stroke of press, right, press, and then press again. And here are the other thigh or leg things shows the left one. Press, make the, the junction part, right? And then press and then start to do. Then foot. Nail. You know, something um, like that. And then for the the head part, you can do some last and found last and found. I said to um, do the head the some kind of the sketch things and shows a little bit of light ink.
for this, right? And they put the um, red crown. <laughs> I think my one the neck a little bit too small. Anyway, some position, if you uh, I look at the image, some position, uh, the Korean uh, looks, the distance is very uh, short. Okay, just one big dot. Doesn't have to be that, pre, I mean, um, precise. Mm -hmm. A little bit overlap, fine, yeah. <laughs> a little bit too too big, I think my one. The big head, too big. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do some uh, more 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 things. Shows a little bit, you know, uh, the. Um, for the feather things or for the, you know, thigh things here. You think you want to do something? So yeah, look at the sample, feather things. And some people uh, do a little bit uh, amber, a little bit light brown color um, to um, do the feather line part to make the white part looks more white. Because mm -hmm. we don't really do the white part. Just leave it like the paper, uh, paper white. So, but do a little bit of umber color on the, 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 the line part, the light line part to make the white part more um, stand out. Stand out. Mm -hmm. um, and do also do the, a little, little, bit, of, little bit of things on the um, red. You can do it. Um, and a little bit like the light ink for, uh, Eek. The head is too head is too big. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it here. Body part, two act part, and one show show more. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, here I saved a little place for Okay, that's the Korean. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> I, I don't assign it. I think my head is too big <laughs> for the first, I think for the eye, I got the two, I got too big. Uh, anyway, um, it's our uh, practicing uh, and we learn characters. 
um, and we learn the uh, jokes. We have other uh, chance to uh, I'll put it <laughs> at the classroom. Whatever we did, uh, I did in the uh, uh, in the in the class, and uh, uh, for you to review and think about what I said. Uh, too big or uh, not very good. Uh, we practice and we have a chance to do some more uh, later for other positions. And uh, um, did, did you have fun to, to do that the Quran? I want to add something simple to mine, but yeah. I don't know what to do. I want to add something, you know, uh, I don't know, a pine branch or something like that. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> later, later, later. We will, we will, we will do it. And also the uh, plum branch a little bit. Let oh, it okay. sit on the ground. Plum branch, tiny a little bit in the red plum branch. Um, re remember last year we did a, a branch, a, a cut of a branch of a plum. You know something skill like that. Lots of pictures like that. And or um, like di diagonally, um, uh, the pine, some pine branch, branch, some pine branches, like this position, some things very beautiful. Yeah, I just said, um, just remember, do not put this bird on the branch, standing on the branch of the pine tree. Um, but like the kind of abstract things, like pine tree, the big chunk outside, but some branch, and we, we know how to do branch and how to do the, the needles, right? With a group of needles or something beautiful. We'll have a chance to do that <laughs> with plum and with, you can go with lots of things, even um, like the uh, uh, water, water bank, water bank, or a little bit of uh, far ground uh, lands landscape, the mountain the slope things, very, um, uh, mid ground or far ground some things yeah of course of course uh -huh. it go very beautiful and uh, you see that in the picture even just stand on the snow snow place and the plain ground uh, very beautiful we all have chance because we got, we got some um, things need to practice the stroke strokes uh, yeah um, and it shows the calligraphy strokes um, very well and. Um, you will have fun to do that, like the the big, the big leg. I, I call I call it leg leg, and the the tail. And uh, you you got the we let's just say we uh, practice the elements, <laughs> the components. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 this class and learn the characters. Yeah, we all have chance. I, I will arrange uh, some things with plum, uh, but plum is coming. Um, um, like the uh, um, uh, a March or some things, but we have, uh, I explained, um, little right you think, son and the plum as a wife. So, and put them together, be very, very beautiful, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the tradition, not, not ex lots of examples, lots, lots of people do that together. We'll do that later. And we'll do pine, pine, pine needles, with this earlier, with this earlier. And uh, that's for uh, that picture, um, not for son and wife, for that picture for uh, longevity, longevity and uh, auspicious, auspicious, because two uh, long lived things together. And, and then they are kind of the winter things. And uh, this bird uh, standing on, stand on, the, on the, um, the snow, uh, I mean, the cold area. Um, doesn't um, afraid of uh, uh, cold and uh, like we say kingfisher always with the lotus leaves right and this um, this guy always with the pine or with the snow things very good so put the pine uh, pine needles there um, anyway uh, any questions let me know and uh, we can um, you can choose some things different uh, um, gesture different gesture. Even you know, in the air, flies beautifully, <laughs> and with the uh, the uh, the wing uh, spread. I mean, spread spread. It's very 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 beautiful and big. Um, okay, uh, we all. Uh, Victoria, uh, mm -hmm. Victoria, we have a 
question about uh, the next class. Uh, do you want to do um, on Chinese New Year's Day as well? Because uh, uh, the the next the four Tuesdays, uh, the fourth one falls on Chinese New Year's Day. Should we do it? Uh, for me, no problem. No problem. Uh huh. Uh, do do we have activities? No, that day. No. I mean the sh the show the show. No. So I will include the Tuesday, February first. Right? Okay. Oh, you mean you mean uh exactly on the uh Chinese New Year Day? Yes. Uh, you must keep that or keep it. Uh, uh, I I will I will do it. It's good. Okay. So, yeah. So for us. A, to, yeah. So I don't you have, have any, uh, four uh, more events on the Chinese New Year's uh, Day. Uh huh. From next Tuesday till uh, February first, which is Chinese New Year. Okay. Okay. So Henry, will that be on in uh, the on the website in Blue Heron Art, so we could sign up? Uh, yeah, I'm publishing it right now after we confirm on that date. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I, I, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no problem for me. Yeah. I, I, I don't think for our students it's Tuesday and this country Chinese New Year. Um, let's keep it. Keep it. Do not have to skip it. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. Uh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Okay. So, um, for um next class next week we started other um uh sections uh for the four classes um uh, cause so uh after Henry uh, set up for the uh, class uh we need to um. Uh, re register for the next four classes. Um, yeah, thank you for your interest. <laughs> and I will arrange some um, like tiger, tiger character for tiger, you know, for the lunar year. Uh, now we still uh, with the ox, <laughs> not the Chinese New Year, still lunar, lunar year. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, see you next time and uh, happy practice. Try to find the, the uh, picture, the, the gesture one, and try to practice, um, you know, things for the stroke. See, after you practice, you know, how much you can do and how, how much you are still lacking. Sometimes, you know, looks uh, easier <laughs> when you do it. You need, need some practice, yeah. That's what we are doing uh, in our, basically in our uh, calligraphy practicing, right? Okay, uh, so happy practice. And uh, Charlene, I like your hair. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, Kathy, thank you for the pic uh, pictures. And uh, I like the gesture. <laughs>